All right, number five says we have 200 milliliters of 6.0 molar HF. What concentration results if this is diluted to a total volume of one liter? So this is a slightly different setup here. We have 200 milliliters of 6 molar HF. Um, so in this case, this is what this is our V1 value, our initial volume, and our initial concentration, so our M1 value. It says what concentration results, so these are our final values, so our, it's asking us to find M2, M2 equals question mark, if this to all of this 200 milliliters is diluted to a total volume or a final volume, a V2 value of one liter. And then it says how much water was added, which we know we can figure out once we um, solve for this problem. We can actually figure this out now because we already have our V1 and our V2 value. So let's go ahead and solve for M2 first. So, and we'll write out our information down here. Uh, we have M1 equals V1 equals, and then we have M2 equals and V2 equals. A V1 we know to be 200 milliliters, and our M1 is 6.0 molar. Then our M2 is what we're looking for, so we'll put a question mark there, and our units will be of molarity, so capital M. Uh, and then for our V2 value, we know we have a final volume of one liter, but I need my units to match my V1 value. So I'm going to go ahead and convert this liters into milliliters. One liter equals a thousand milliliters. And we'll cross through that one so we use the correct one. Now let's go ahead and solve for our M2 value by substituting into our dilution equation. So our M1, 6.0 times our V1 of 200 milliliters equals our M2, which we don't know, so we'll leave that in variable form, times our V2 of 1,000 milliliters. Now, to solve for M2, we're simply going to divide by 1,000 on the right-hand side, and if we do something on the right-hand side, we also have to do the same thing on the left-hand side of our equation. So we're going to be left with simply M2 over on the right equals 6 times 200 divided by 1,000. And when I solved that, I got 1.2, and our units are molarity, molar. 1.2 uh, molar is our final answer for what concentration results if this is diluted to a total volume of one liter. Our concentration that results is that 1.2 molar. Then we have to ask how much water was added. So we know um, that if we are preparing a dilution that a small amount of what we put is going to be our 200 milliliters of our concentrated HF, and then the rest of the solution that's being prepared is going to be made up of our water. And we wanted a total volume of one liter or a thousand milliliters. So a thousand milliliters minus the 200 milliliters of HF that we already have, a thousand minus 200 of H or milliliters of HF. Well, it's a pretty easy math problem that we have here this time. 1,000 minus 200 means that we need 800 milliliters of water. And so we can go ahead, write that answer down, milliliters of H2O, uh, and then we can go ahead and just write that in as our final answer. We need our final, what our initial or our concentration that results is 1.2 molar, and how much water was added? Well, that was 800 milliliters of water added. Our last problem says 100 milliliters of 6 molar CuSO4 must be diluted to what final volume so that the resulting solution is 1.5 molar, and then what volume of solvent was added? So let's see. 100 milliliters of 6 molar CuSO4 must be diluted to what final volume? So we're being asked for our V2 value. 
Now we are given our initial volume, our V1 value. Uh, and since we have 100 milliliters of 6 molar, this must be our M1 value, or our initial molarity. So we have M1 and V1, we have our V2, so we must be looking for M2. What is, um, or sorry, we're looking for V2. Uh, the resulting M2 value is right here, 1.5 molar, M2 value. So let's go ahead and rewrite the, all these pieces of the information, M1, V1. We can record down our V1 value is 100 milliliters. Our M1 value is 6.0 molar. And then our M2 value is 1.5 molar. And our V2 value is what we're being asked to find. Uh, and since our V1 value is in milliliters, our V2 value will also come out in milliliters as well. We'll fill in that unit right now. Let's go ahead and solve M1V1 equals M2V2. M1 is 6.0 times V1, 100 milliliters, equals M2, 1.5, times V2. To solve for V2, we just need to divide by 1.5. And if we do this on the right-hand side, we're also going to do it on the left-hand side of the equation as well. So we need to solve 6 times 100 divided by 1.5, and that gives us a V2 value of 400, and we said our units will be milliliters. So let's see. Um, what volume of solvent... So 100 milliliters of 6.0 molar CuSO4 must be diluted to what final volume? So our final volume is 400 milliliters. And then what volume of solvent was added to get to that final volume? So we kind of needed to reinterpret the problem here. We know our final volume, we wanted to get to 400 milliliters as our final volume. And we know that our initial volume of CuSO4, our CuSO4, um, was 100 milliliters. So we wanted to know uh, the final volume that we needed to get to, we already solved for, was 400. So how much water had to be added to achieve that final volume will just be the difference between 400 and 100. So 400 minus 100 gives us a volume of water of three, or a volume of solvent, we're assuming it's water here, of 300 milliliters of solvent was added. Okay, uh, and that takes care of the final piece of this problem. Our final volume is going to be 400 milliliters, and to get to that, we needed to add 300 milliliters of solvent.